You're listening to Civic Media. You can tune into any of our live shows on any radio station across the state with the Civic Media app. Find us in your phone's app store and listen anytime, anywhere. This is your WXEO Daily News Roundup for Bull Falls Radio, 98.9 FM and 1230 AM in Wausau. Civic Media News, I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. The Democratic nominee for president visits the birthplace of the Republican Party today. Vice President Kamala Harris campaigns in Ripon. It's Harris' fifth visit to Wisconsin since her campaign began in July. Donald Trump won Fond du Lac County by more than 15,000 votes four years ago. Trump campaigns in Juneau on Sunday. Kamala Harris leads Donald Trump by four points in Wisconsin in the latest Marquette poll. Poll director Charles Franklin says independents have been trending for Harris since Joe Biden left the race. Independents have bumped up to 60 or a little above 60 percent for Harris. Saying it twice in a row, I think, is worth noting. Meanwhile, Tammy Baldwin has a seven-point lead over Eric Hovde in the race for U.S. Senate. A new report finds Wisconsin is heading toward a potential senior care crisis. Forward Analytics says the number of people in Wisconsin aged 75 and older is expected to go up by about 75 percent in the next 20 years. That means a need for almost 60,000 new nursing home beds and 99,000 nurses and other staff by 2040. 45 pets displaced by Hurricane Helene are now in animal shelters around Wisconsin. The Humane Society's Lisa Bernard says the idea is to open up space in affected areas to handle local pets lost and reunite them with their owners. The Humane Society will make an announcement when the animals here are up for adoption. As many as 82 Wisconsin projects tied to clean energy could qualify for tax incentives under the Inflation Reduction Act. Emily Pritzko of the Wisconsin Building Trades Council says they'll offer good jobs. Excellent pay, flexibility, and we are rising to meet that. Wind turbine technicians and solar installers are the fastest growing occupations in the U.S. The Milwaukee Brewers may be looking for a new home on cable TV. The operator of Bally Sports was in bankruptcy court yesterday. Its reorganization plan includes cutting ties with seven teams under contract for next year, including the Brewers. A final hearing on Bally's reorganization plan is November 14th. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now here's what you need to know closer to home. For WXCO News, I'm Brittany Merlot. Voters in Wausau are now planning to file a complaint with the Department of Justice after Wausau Mayor Doug Dinney removed the ballot drop box outside of City Hall. Some residents say the mayor's actions were unwarranted and are requesting an investigation into the incident. According to the complaint sent to U.S. Attorney Timothy O'Shea, Mayor Denny did not have authority to remove the drop box. The complaint says, quote, We believe that Mr. Denny may have broken federal law by using his official position to interfere with citizens' right to vote. And the city of Wausau announces the closure of Bricks Soft Serve at River Life Park, as the vendor has chosen not to renew their lease. The shop already closed for the season, and they've completely moved out of the space. The city says they appreciate the years of service and the joy that Bricks brought to park visitors. The city also says to ensure the continued vibrancy of River Life Park, they will initiate a bid process to find a new vendor to take over the shop space. Have you noticed an increase in your electric or gas bill? We Energies and WPS customers have a chance to make their voices heard in rate cases that will set utility prices for 2025 and 2026. The Citizens Utility Board says We Energies seeks total increases of $605 million over the next two years. This would amount to a 19% increase for a typical customer. WPS is seeking increases of $220 million, creating a 20% increase. You can submit a public comment online between now and October 7th. Visit psc.wi.gov. And Ellis Construction broke ground on the new Weinbrenner Shoe Company facility in Marshfield this week. They expect to bring 35 new jobs to the organization, expanding their current workforce of 120 employees. The brand new state-of-the-art facility is expected to open in late 2025. Breast cancer is becoming an increasingly common diagnosis in women under the age of 40. And younger women have denser breast tissue. Cecilia Stroda is an MD and breast surgeon at Aspirus. Uh, mammogram may not be enough, especially if they have other risk factors. And so what we add to that is uh, screening MRI. And with a screening MRI, we can find very small 
uh, tumors also in women who have dense breasts that would have otherwise gone unrecognized. However, unless deemed medically necessary, screening MRIs are not covered by all insurance in the U.S. Lifestyle choices can reduce your chances of developing cancer. The Mediterranean diet is kind of the recommended diet at this point. Uh, More physical activity and exercise is better, but even a little bit goes a long way. Also, zero alcohol intake. A new dog is walking the halls at Wausau East High School. The Wausau Police Department school resource officer, Nick Stetzer, and his dog, Timber, working towards creating a safe and comforting environment for students and staff at the high school. Timber is taking over for the school's previous therapy dog, Badge. For Officer Stetzer, positive relationships are crucial to building trust, saying they're not there to just get people in trouble. But if something bad has happened, even at home, Timber can help heal from a traumatic situation. And Wisconsin and fall go hand-in-hand with U-Pick events at local farms. And agrotourism is massive here in the Badger State. At Felt's Dairy Store in Plover, they say, well, it may be a lot of work this time of year. They have a great team around them. Now open for weekend wagon rides for people to go out and pick pumpkins. They also say they're getting ready for their haunted corn maze and are going bigger and better this year with more than 60 workers helping out. And that's what you need to know. I'm Brittany Merlot for WXCO. He swings and drives one out towards right center. Taylor back, and it's gone! Mitchell, a two-run homer, and the Brewers have the lead. It's 5-3. That's what it sounded like on ESPN Radio as the Brewers beat the Mets 5-3 last night. Hi, I'm Jimmy Cusco with Sports, filling in for Mike Clemens. Today will be Game 3 of the Wild Card Series between the Brewers and the Mets. Jackson Churio hit two home runs, and Garrett Mitchell hit a go-ahead two-run blast to move the Brewers in front in the win. Mitchell said he was excited for the opportunity to come up big. Obviously, there's a lot of pressure there, but like at the same time, it's just enjoying the game and having fun. It's a kid's game, you know? But it. Like I said, like those are the types of things you look at, like when you're in the backyard. It was awesome, exciting. Still trying to come down from it, but just most importantly, excited to have play another game, of, another day of baseball, and come back out here tomorrow and do it again. Manager Pat Murphy said Churio had a great night. Yeah, that's pretty special. Yeah, pretty special. A lot of guys contributed tonight. It was, you know, again, you you, you saw what our team's about, what they've been about all year. They didn't quit. They kept every pitch. Yeah, a lot of guys' contributions, but Churio. Oof. Willie Adamas was impressed by Churio's performance. I mean, insane, insane. I mean, he's, I feel like he's done some, you know, he, he hit some clutch hits you know, throughout the year. But I know for him that felt amazing. And for the team, felt unbelievable. I changed the whole game right there, and he gave us an opportunity to play game three tomorrow. First pitch tonight is after 6 p.m. If the Brewers win, they'll play the Phillies on Saturday and Sunday to start the NLDS. And the Packers will try to bounce back this week as they take on the Rams on Sunday after losing last weekend to the Vikings. Kickoff on Sunday is after 3 p.m. Filling in for Mike Clemens, I'm Jimmy Cusco with Civic Media Sports. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. Mark Hamill has agreed to appear in a revival of Cartoon Network's The Regular Show. The show ran for eight seasons on Cartoon Network and is being brought back by Warner Brothers. Hamill played a Yeti named Skips and will return to the role. If you haven't checked out the animated show, I recommend it, or maybe you're not interested in the hijinks of slackers Mordecai, a Blue Jay, and Rigby, a raccoon, who try to avoid doing any kind of actual work and spend the day playing video games. It took a lot to get Daniel Day-Lewis to come out of retirement, specifically the movie his son is making that Lewis helped him co-write. Lewis has not been seen on the silver screen in seven years, but is warming up his acting chops to star in An Enemy. Ronan is directing the film for Focus Features. According to Yahoo Entertainment, the story centers on the relationships between fathers and sons and brothers. Daniel Day-Lewis is considered one of the greatest, if not the greatest, actor of his generation. He's the only male actor to have won three Oscars for Best Actor. Lots of really respected actors have passed away the last several days, including Maggie Smith, Chris Christopherson, John Ashton, and now John Amos. Amos starred in Roots, the TV miniseries from the late 1970s, and Norman Lear's hit show Good Times. His other credits included Coming to America, Uncut Gems, and Die Hard 2. Amos was 84 years old. It seems no one has told Haley Welch, also known as the Hawk Tua girl, that her 15 minutes of fame are up. First, she was an internet sensation, then she threw out a few first pitches and appeared on popular podcasts and sold some serious merch, but she's not stopping there. Now she has her own podcast on Spotify, and it is the third most popular. The podcast is called Talk Tua. Those who tune in to Talk Tua can expect to hear Haley chatting with celebrities, exuding Southern hospitality, and giving relationship advice.
I thought Hawk Tua was relationship advice. The show Reacher has never been devoid of girl power, but a new spinoff will take it to the next level. Prime Video is developing a new series. It will star Maria Sten, who plays Frances Neagley, opposite Reacher. In a recent interview, Sten said the show will still be very Reacher, with snappy dialogue and lots of action, but it will be its own show. Reacher, based on the books by Lee Child, is one of Amazon's most popular shows domestically and worldwide. A release date has not been set. Democratic nominee Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump will not be invited onto Saturday Night Live before the November 5th presidential election. SNL creator Lauren Michaels told The Hollywood Reporter that due to equal time provisions, it gets too complicated and he would have to invite every candidate on, even minor candidates who are only on the ballot in two or three states. I guess for the time being, we are stuck with impersonators James Austin Johnson as Trump and Maya Rudolph playing Harris. My personal favorite, Jim Gaffigan as Tim Walls. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Pete Schwaba, weeknights from 6 to 8 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. Mostly sunny this morning, becoming partly to mostly cloudy this afternoon. Our high today, 67, with wind out of the northwest at 5 to 15. Tonight, a sprinkle or two, otherwise mostly clear, 41 tomorrow. Sunshine, 66 on Saturday. Mostly sunny, with a high of 72. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Right now, it's 48. That's your WXCO Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at bullfallsradio.com. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about. 